Hey guys, it is Drew here from Lone Fox, and you guys might be asking yourself, what is this lighting, Drew? And yes, I know, I'm filming this intro at the nighttime. It is almost 10 p.m. I want to get this video up for you guys tomorrow, and I've actually been sick, which is why my voice sounds like this. I don't know if you can hear it, but I just have been, like, very congested and, like, nasally and just, like, kind of gross lately, so I just haven't been wanting to do voiceovers for this video, but I really want to get it up before Christmas time because it is a gift wrapping video, and I think you're really going to like it. Um, I created five different gift wrapping ideas. Five. I always do that. I put up ten. It's five gift wrapping ideas in this video, and they just encompass a lot of minimal and just like very aesthetic elements, which I personally love in gift wrapping. And I think a lot of you guys can probably appreciate it as well and maybe use it in your gift wrapping this year, whether you're going to give a gift to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, whatever it may be. If you saw some of the gifts at the beginning of this video, they might look a little bit challenging, but honestly, these are so super simple. You can really do them to every single gift this year. And these are just some of my ideas for you guys to definitely take and then convert into your own. You can mix and match elements from any of the gifts and create your very own gift wrapping technique this season. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be posting another video before Christmas. So if I am not, Merry Christmas to everyone who does celebrate Christmas. And if not, happy holidays and happy winter time and just all that stuff. But let's get into today's video. First up is this super cute custom wrapping paper. And I just used a potato and we are creating a potato stamp. Yes, a stamp from a potato. And you're just going to cut a potato in half, draw your design out using a marker or a pen. I opted for a star, but last year I actually did a tree. I did this same technique on a uh, gift that I did last year, but this year I wanted to use a star. And then I used a little X-Acto knife, but you can use a kitchen knife if you have one. Just be very careful um, if you don't know how to use a knife or if you just don't want to cut yourself, have an adult do it or something like that. So I cut out the the star shape around the edges and basically you're just going to want your shape to be the highest point that way when you apply your paint or your ink or whatever it might be to the center of the stamp it will stamp on there so I cut out quite a bit around the edge of that star shape and then used a paintbrush with a little bit of black paint and I just painted it on the stamp and the potato is actually like pretty juicy so it actually kind of creates a watercolor effect because some juice will come out of the potato the potato will juice on your wrapping paper, which is totally fine. Um, and I think it looks really nice like that. I think it looks a little bit more organic and handmade. And then I just use a flat edge paintbrush, the same one I applied the paint on with, just to touch up those edges and just give it a nice clean finished look. And I repeated the process on my entire piece of white gift wrap. And if you're curious as to where this gift wrap is from, it is actually from Paper Source. They do have both white and just like the craft colored gift wraps. I know I get that question a lot when I do videos like this. And I wanted to also go in and just clean up those edges one more time quickly using the edge of my paintbrush. And like I did mention, they kind of do look watercolored, which I really do love. And you can actually just do a couple of them and then wrap your gift with your paper and then stamp on the rest of your gift with the stamp again. So you don't have to stamp everywhere and like repeat the process so many times. So I wrapped my gift how I normally would, just by folding up and tucking the edges on both sides of the gift. And then I went back in with my little stamp and a little bit of paint and just completed off the gift, stamping some stars wherever they were necessary just to finish off the entire present. And I just felt like it was not completely complete yet. I wanted to add a super simple bow with a little bit of butcher's twine. And I found this at Paper Source as well. It's just a simple white thicker twine and that finishes off the gift. Next gift is a little bit more rustic, but I do love that look. And I started off with just a little bit of craft wrapping paper. And essentially, craft is just kind of like a recycled brown looking wrapping paper, which I think really adds that nice sort of like Pinterest vibe to your present, which we all know and love. And I just wrapped the gift how I typically would. This was a shaving set that I'm getting for my brother. So this gift was actually a real one. You'll see what I mean by the end of the video. And then I used a little bit of this burlap ribbon that I found at Joanne's Fabric, and I used a little bit of that baker's twine as well that I used in the first present, and I tied a bow, and I just layered the two together to give it sort of a simplistic vibe. And then what I did was use a little sprig of pine that I found. Um, well, I actually got it in a PR gift from a company, and I decided that I was going to repurpose the PR present rather than have it go to waste and wrap some gifts with it. So I pulled the bow and the pine over to the right side of the gift, and I added on this little pine cone which was also in the PR gift and I just glued that onto the center of the bow and that finishes this one. Mm -hmm. 
This next wrapping idea is super quirky and fun, and I think it'd be great for a kid, but also great for anyone who just loves like a little bit of sparkle, you know? And I started off with some white wrapping paper, and I wrapped my gift in the white wrapping paper, how I've been doing the whole video, just typical gift wrapping, cutting off the ends if you need to, and then just folding them down and making it nice and clean and taping off the end. And then once you have that done, I use a little bit of just liquid glue, and I kind of created a cluster of glue over on the right-hand side because I poured on some gold sequins, both circle-shaped sequins and star-shaped sequins and I just put these on the right side of the gift and just made sure that then I cascaded some out so I did a couple dots of sequins here and there and just kind of created a cascading effect from left or from right to left um, and you'll see what I do to really finish this off in a second here but I just added those on there and then once I added all the sequins I used a little bit of gold paint and I watered it down and used a paintbrush to splatter on the gift some gold dots which are gonna fill in all those open gaps in between the sequences and just make it look sort of like a kind of like galaxy but not galaxy at the same time and then I use a little bit of twine that has a gold string running through it and then on the left side because I thought it looked a little bit bare I just added to mom from Drew which finishes off the left side of the gift and that is the completed sort of galaxy inspired present. This next gift looks super luxurious and I'm obsessed with the way it turned out. And I started off with a simple white cardboard box, just like a gift box, and used a little bit of this copper gold toned ribbon. And I just tied a simple knot on the front of the box. This is just sort of to keep it closed. And then I used a little bit of this holiday foliage, I guess you could say. I think there's some pine tree, some evergreen tree, some mistletoe. And I just tied it together because I wanted to kind of create almost like a little mini boutonniere to put on the front of this box. I thought it would just look pretty. So I glued this down directly on top of the knot there and just glued it on top using a little bit of strong bond adhesive. You can use hot glue if you want to, but I just opted for something that was a little bit easier to use. And then I glued down this Happy Holidays tag, which again was part of that PR gift I mentioned. They included this Happy Holidays tag, which was hand made and it's like calligraphied on there and I love it. And then I just added a little bit of a banner edge to the ribbons and that finishes off this gift. And lastly, I also wanted to create a gift with a bag because it's definitely an easy way out, but we all do it, we all know it, and we all love it. So I started off by taking this ceramic ornament. I found it in the dollar section at Target, and I'm kind of making this a two-for-one gift, but I'm gonna customize this ceramic ornament because it's just a simple star. So I decided to write my brother's name on it. I'm actually gifting him a pair of socks in this um, container here and a little keychain. So I just wrote his name Jace on here, which is my brother's name, um, in a cursive, just sort of hand-lettered it out. And then once I was done with that, I went over it with a second coating. And then just a couple of dots all around at the outside of the word Jace. You could do little dots, like little scallops around the edge, a border if you want to, whatever it may be. And then I added my own string to the ornament that way when I loop it on and string it through, I can then tie it on to the actual bag with a little bow but when you untie the bow you can then recreate this into an ornament to hang on your tree year after year so it's kind of like a little memorabilia as well which I do love and I just put a candle in here because I don't want him to see his present for now uh, with a little bit of this cute uh, gift wrap that I got at World's Market I think I shared it in one of my past videos and that finishes off this gift I just added a little bit of evergreen tree just in there sort of popping out to give a little bit of life and that finishes off our last present So guys, that was my gift wrapping video, and I hope that you did enjoy it, and it gave you a couple of ideas, and maybe uh, you can use some of them on your gift wrapping this year, or even use some of the techniques that I did show on, like, birthday gifts for the coming up months, if you do have any friends that are having birthdays anytime soon. If I could find any of the products I did use, I'll make sure to link them in the description box below for you guys to take a look at, and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the Lone Fox channel. I post brand new videos on DIY and home decor every single week. Leave a comment below letting me know which gift was your favorite, and if you have any ideas for gift wrapping this season, because I would love to know the gifts I wrapped in this video were actually completely fake. I know, what? They're fake. But I do already have a lot of my friends and family's gifts together, so I'm gonna start wrapping those using a lot of the techniques I did share in this video. And then of course, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section, I might use those as well. And last but not least, I know I've been rambling on forever. Don't forget to follow the Lone Fox Home Instagram account for more home and DIY inspiration and my personal Instagram account at I'm Drew Scott for your daily dose of Drew. Again, happy holidays, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.